In the meantime, some journalists in Kaduna State have expressed divergent opinions with the emergence of Ahmed Lawan as Senate President. While some journalists agreed that Senator Alan Dume has the requisite qualification and experience to handle the affairs of the Ninth Senate, they hope that the election will translate to dividends of democracy for Nigerians, while others pray he doesn't become a rubber stamp Senate President to the executive. We are praying for Mr. Lawa has emerged. Another person will emerge as deputy. A speaker will emerge. And they should work together for the interest of this country. That's the most important thing. That, that's the bottom line. Any person can become the senior president, but that person must behave. He should not behave like the eighth National Assembly. We wish that the National Assembly will be independent of their own, but with the executive interference and party interference which has brought about the emergence of Senator Ahmed Lawa. That is just my opinion. But be that as it may, the senators have decided the election is uh, free and fair. We saw everything. There was no manipulation of any sort. In party, yeah, yeah, that is all their hopes. And uh, I, I hope he can, he can, he can marshal the, the ninth Senate like Bukola Saraki did. I hope he will not be a robber stamp. My reason premise on the fact that uh, uh, um, Ahmed Lawal is the preferred candidate of the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Before any other thing, uh, the, the yearning and aspiration of Nigerians second, because this country needs development, this people, country needs certain things to be put in place. In another story, Senator Ovio Omoagege has emerged as the Deputy Senate President of the 9th.